Ah, you're just full of it. You ever heard that before? Sometimes that could be a good thing, depending on what you're full of. In Philippians 1, 21 through 26, I'm going to read out of the message. It says this, Alive, I'm Christ's messenger. Dead, I'm his bounty. Life versus even more life, I can't lose. As long as I'm alive in this body, there's good work for me to do. If I had to choose right now, I'd hardly know which I'd choose. Hard choice. The desire to break camp here and be with Christ is powerful. Some days I can think of nothing better. But most days, because of what you're going through, I'm sure that it's better for me to stick it out here. So I plan to be around for a while, companion to you as your growth and joy in this life of trusting God continues. You can start looking forward to a great reunion when I come visit you again. We'll be praising Christ and enjoying each other. My friends, we have lots of choices of things we can do. We can be consumed by ourselves and the things of this world, or we can die to them all and be consumed and filled with Christ. When you do that, you can definitely make a difference in somebody else's life. Can you be that person today? Can you allow yourself to be emptied and filled with Christ? So when somebody says you're full of it, you can say, I sure am. God bless you.